I will call in the morning and I uh, take care of my son and I go, uh, I left him in his therapy place. Okay. A mother's elaborate story to police hours after she reported her young son had been kidnapped. We first told you about the incident last May. Detectives say the mom lied to police as a desperate search for her nine year old son was underway, but that little boy turned up dead, and police are convinced his mom did it. NBC6 reporter Stephanie Bertini is back with the interrogation tapes that reveal the alleged lies the mom fed police. How do you communicate with them? Okay, Alejandro, you felt. Have very smart kid and uh He's pointing. This is our first look of the interrogation of a mother who is now facing the death penalty, accused of killing her son, who was living with autism. What time do you guys woke up in the morning? Okay, I woke up at 7 a.m. Okay. And my, my son at 9 30. Patricia Ripley detailing to detectives what she did in the hours and minutes before she last saw her nine year old son, Alejandro Ripley, never appearing to flinch. And um, I was in the place, the therapy place, uh, around 10 12. It was last May when detectives brought Ripley in for questioning after she reported the child missing. An Amber Alert was issued when the mom told police two men who had cut her car off robbed her and abducted her child. But after police said she gave conflicting statements, Ripley sat in this interrogation room for hours. It's approximately 1010. You leave the therapy session and where do you go from here? I need to, to pass by public. You hear police ask for proof to back up the story she's telling them. Diapers, milk, and things like that. Where's the receipt for the purchases that you made? Uh, I always say I don't want receipt. But I have the car, the car that I use. Okay, which car did you use? But I think it's my Bank of America. How much was the amount, approximately? Uh... Oh my God, I don't remember. The footage of the interrogation stretched from late morning to early evening. A lot of the time, Ripley was left alone waiting. <laughs> and she's seen and heard sobbing several times when detectives walk out. <sighs> During interrogation, she describes her son's behavior. Has he ever been aggressive to you? Never. Okay. He's a very lovely kid. Hours later, the mom is seen asking about her boy. You are the last person that was with your son. Your husband and your son, pretty much, we're pretty much done with them. They're also over there at the, the scene of police. Detectives sit down to ask her questions once more. The time now, 5.24 p.m. When Alejandro left the house, what was Alejandro wearing? What clothing? He's wearing uh, the black pants. Okay. okay. And the uh, Mickey Mouse shirt. By this time, it had been nine and a half hours after the boy's body was found in a canal next to a golf course in southwest Miami Dade. Police say the mom pushed him into the water and he drowned. And they learned from surveillance video that she had tried to do the same thing earlier in the day at a different location. Good morning, Miss Ripley. We don't see it in the video police released to us, but detectives say the mother took back the story she told during the interrogation, saying he's going to be in a better place. An interesting thing that came out in the interrogation, Ripley told police she holds a bachelor's degree in psychology and was pursuing a master's in the same subject. She's behind bars without bond here at the Metro West Detention Center as she awaits trial. I'm Stephanie Bertini, NBC6 News.